before the beginning, if there is such a meaning for before the beginning, there was emptiness, where the energy level was zero. But emptiness is not nothingness. You will learn in the quantum physics module the uncertainty principle. One of its consequences is that energy can fluctuate even when its average value or level is zero. Now, some of these fluctuations can be small, some can be larger. If one of these fluctuations becomes, for a brief instant, a little too large, something amazing can happen. Boom. The Big Bang. At this point, the universe is just a tiny speck of infinite density and infinite temperature. But it expands quickly, and by doing this, it cools down. Particles start to emerge from this new fountain of energy. After 300,000 years, the universe is now cool enough so that the particles start forming lighter elements, light elements like hydrogen or helium or, or even a few lithium atoms. Even if this is only, these are only light elements, it's good enough for gravity to come into play and use these atoms to build, to form denser objects like stars or galaxies. Some of these first stars, we call them first generation stars, some of these stars are huge. They live very short lives, but they end them beautifully in a supernova. In a supernova, in a supernova, <laughs> the energies are so fantastically large that light elements can combine and fusion into heavier elements, providing the universe with all the atoms we know of, or the periodic table is formed in supernovas. So, now, with these heavier elements, other things can form, like planets. All these elements interact they join into molecules, which gives rise to chemistry and biology and life. Now, look at today, a random view of planet Earth, of the surface of planet Earth. Look at the mess. It's teeming with life. Well, all this process, from the beginning, from the very beginning, up to now, to today, to this moment where you are in front of your computer watching this video, all this process is based on physics. All the steps in this process involve various areas like atomic physics, nuclear physics, uh, particle physics, mechanics, gravity, waves, thermal physics, electric and magnetic fields. And guess what? All these topics are part of the IB and the A-level programs. So once you have assimilated your curriculum in physics, you will be able to understand everything from the beginning till today at least as far as human, the human race understands it. The IB physics and the A-level physics programs are pretty extensive. They basically cover our knowledge. I understand it may appear a little intimidating at first, but, but don't worry, really. 
The fundamentals can be understood by everyone. Just you need a little effort. You cannot just read a textbook boop, 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 and you're done. No, you need to do some exercises after having read the textbook and also think about it. Ask yourself some questions. Reflect on it. That is called study. So, in the end, you will get there. And when you do, it's an amazing world that will await you. As you just saw, there are quite some amazing topics within the curriculum. I encourage you to check the videos I will post on this channel. So, subscribe to the channel. Or is it here? I don't know where the button is. <laughs> my first video so subscribe i will see you soon in the next edition of ib physics made easy ciao